gentle canter uh, yesterday and he just did a little bit a little bit quicker today but really just uh, showing him around the place and showing him the track really. And what have you seen from his preparation between Dubai and now at this positive? Um, no, we've been very happy with him. We, we haven't overdone him. Uh, obviously, he went to Dubai and it's only been five weeks ago, so he's here a week. So it was four weeks from the time he, he, he left. Um, he had a good, strong race in Dubai. Um, so um, he's here kind of really, uh, we think, fresh rather than being hard on him, if, if you know what I mean. And what have you kind of learned or changed since Joseph Johannesburg to now? Well, I, I, I'm sure, uh, did we give Johannesburg a prep? Uh, maybe one in, in Dundalk, I think it was. Um, but like, obviously we, we started in Dundalk and uh, it was an artificial surface for him. Um, uh, coming up to last year's uh, Breeders' Cup, uh, when he was second in the Jew horse, we felt, and listen, the lads always thought that he was going to be, he could be a Kentucky Derby horse. And, and we felt that he was a horse who had a chance of uh, acting on the dirt. So we had a decision to make whether we would uh, stay on grass with him for the Breeders' Cup or switch him to dirt. Um, but at the time we had US Navy flag and he had won uh, two group ones on the grass and, uh, and obviously Mendes and Haddon. So rather than making too big a change, we said we'd give him a chance of winning a group one on the, on the turf and with the view that we could train him over the winter with the Kentucky Derby in, in mind. And, and obviously we were very lucky that um, uh, uh, Churchill and, and uh, um, HRI and everybody um, put on a, a Kentucky Derby kind of a trial in, in our part of the world. So that was Dundalk and that was just the perfect distance we taught um, at the perfect time. And it was, a, it was a little bit of an introduction for him coming from the grass to an artificial surface. Obviously it wasn't dirt but it was different than grass. And, and we felt if that went well, the next one would be Dubai, where it would be dirt surface, and uh, the trip would be further. And we weren't sure, obviously, how far he would get. He, he's a horse that always showed plenty of pace in his work, and he, obviously he got a mile well in Dundalk, and then he went to uh, um, uh, Maidan, and uh, we were delighted that he got the, a nine and a half furlongs uh, on the dirt, which is a tough surface. So, um, for us, he has he has progressed nicely. He has passed the test that we have asked him to pass so far. Um, and uh, that's obviously why we are here today, really. And can you speak a little bit on his personality? He seems to be quite yeah. vocal. Yeah, no, he, he, he's, uh, he, is, he, is, um, he has a big personality, which uh, we always try encouraging horses to develop a personality, and he has developed a big one. Um, um, he, he's, uh, he's, he, even though he's vocal, like you said, he, he cries out and calls the horses. He's not coltish, he doesn't draw or he doesn't show um, uh, in that way, so it's more of a, a mental thing than anything. And, and as we were training him last year, when we uh, put on uh, the blinkers on him, it totally focuses his mind. It's, it's amazing for an inch at either side of his eye, it just totally changes his focus. And that's the way he has been so far. Um, and what you see there is he was the same in, in Dubai before he uh, before he raced. Um, but, and we saw last year, the minute the, the, the blinkers went on him, He's, he's, uh, he's just totally focused, you know, so we, we don't want to change too much and, and he's slowly uh, growing up uh, mentally and physically, so um, yeah, so that's where we are really. He's, a, he's really well bred, uh, was a uh, yearling sail topper, this would be the perfect storm. He, he was, absolutely, obviously uh, um, uh, uh, um, John and, and Sue and, and uh, Derek and Gay and Michael and Dorian, when they bought him, um, um, uh, Paul and MB picked him out in, in uh, uh, in Keeneland obviously with, with Demi and um, but I remember uh, Paul and MB saying that they, they thought that he was like he was a very special looking horse uh, physically and with his pedigree so um, uh, listen and, and 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 the lads always had it in their mind that this is where he could be he, he came to us as a top rated horse um, and usually those horses if things go right they have a big big shot really and, and like like you said the way he's bred is he's an unbelievable uh, a pedigree for for this part of the world as well. Aiden, is uh, how does the dirt here compare with Maidan in your impression, and maybe more important in Mendelssohn's impression of it? Yeah, that's right. I I I I'm not qualified enough to talk much about dirt, um, to tell you the truth. But um, Maidan is 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 a, a proper dirt surface, and I remember when when they changed it from artificial to dirt, and it was for this reason. Um, so um, listen, um, the, um, Dean rode him. Uh, Alan rode him in, in Maidan, and he was very happy with him. Dean rode him uh, today, and uh, he was very happy the way he went over the surface. You know, so I, I suppose um, um, but that, that's all I could say, really. You know, so but he, he seems very happy. What type what of trip do you envision for him? Um, uh, um, in meaning in in, in the derby. 
uh, uh, through the race. Trip, yeah, yeah I, I think he's drawn out a little bit, and I think um, some of uh, your American uh, trainers like uh, Bob Bafford and, and obviously Wayne, uh, they kind of thought that they would rather they, they would mind being out a little bit where we are. So that's a positive for us, and anyway, that they obviously they would know an awful lot more about dirt racing than I would. Um, so I would imagine that he'll be he'll be some way forward. Uh, I, I I'm not sure. I didn't speak to Ryan, and Ryan will decide that always. I, I think there's pace on his inside, um, and and uh, I think Bob's horse is on his inside as well. So he, he made it in Maidan, but I wouldn't be sure that he will make it here. Um, but that that will be Ryan's decision when when the gates open, really. And what would this mean for you and for the operation? You yeah, have? yeah. Listen, it would be something that that we couldn't really dream of, really. Um, I, this wouldn't be anything that we could ever dream of uh, happening. Um, it, we, we feel so privileged to be here and to have a horse to be here and to um, to be able to compete. Um, but like obviously, it, it wouldn't be um, uh, like to, to dream about something like this wouldn't it wouldn't be uh, you know it, it would be it would be very even hard to dream about. It, really. Where do you usually watch the Kentucky Derby when you're back home? Yeah, no, I usually watch it at home, obviously. Yeah, yeah so watch it on telly. Yeah, you, you it's know, so. late at night. Yeah, that's it, exactly. Yeah, you know. But listen, it's it's um, incredible race, incredible place, incredible culture here. You know, so on. Like, like we're privileged to be here. Really. Thank you, sir.